Welcome back. This is Rich, back for an exclusive YouTube video blog. Tonight's subject is about fast food and why more and more people um, eat fast food than ever before and some of the pros and cons of it. And I'll tell you about that. But first, these important messages. Don't forget to listen to Crystal's Time Machine on WCAP 980, where everybody gets it from 9 to 11, Friday and Saturday nights. Can't catch show live. Listen to podcasts exclusively on archive.org. 400 plus episodes going back to October of 2015. Follow Crystal on various social media websites, including Twitter, YouTube, Instagram, and Facebook. And say hello to Broadway Pizza, the official sponsor of Crystal's Time Machine. And if you say a promo code, Crystal's Time Machine, $2 off your meal, which is very, very good. Okay, and now... Back to the feature presentation. More and more Americans are eating fast food like McDonald's, Burger King, Wendy's, Subway, KFC, Taco Bell, um, Pizza Hut, um, Domino's Pizza. Dunkin' Donuts, Arby's, Dairy Queen, Chipotle's, etc. Because um, a lot of people um, are, are like out on the road a lot for maybe working, especially if you're driving a truck or have a job with transportation. They always go to these establishments and get um, a meal, a quick meal, like um, hamburgers or cheeseburgers and fries and a drink and also shakes. And um, fast food prices are very cheap, but um, with inflation, they are growing at a very rapid pace. I remember years and years ago, combos at McDonald's and Burger King and Subway were under $10. Now they are well over $10. And another reason why I think a lot of people eat at fast food restaurants, they don't have... Um, they don't cook at all. They don't know how to cook. What they're, they're too tired to cook, and they just decide to eat eat at a fast food restaurant. Another reason why people like to eat at fast food restaurants is like they might be a local. Um, like hangout place for friends, their friends. Sometimes there's even senior citizens who go to McDonald's or Burger King or Wendy's or Dunkin' Donuts a couple of times a week. They might have burgers or they might have coffee or iced coffee there. And they just talk for about an hour or two. And, you know, some of the downsides to um, fast food restaurant is that it is, you know, not very healthy to eat at fast food restaurants. A lot of these um, um, fast food restaurants, calories um, are sometimes five, six, seven hundred calories. They are loaded with sodium, very, very high cholesterol. And that's something you have to avoid if you have high blood pressure, high cholesterol, and you know, or, or overeat. You should really avoid eating 
fast food at all times. Also, another reason why it's a con, it's you're spending a lot of money if you go to fast food restaurants each and every day. I used to, you know, when I was a little younger, I used to, like, go to a lot of fast food restaurants. Burger King, I, li- I like two burgers for a buck, which, you know, that, that, and, which that was a good promotion. You won't get two um, burgers for a buck any fast food restaurant at all. Probably it'd be two dollars, two burgers for five dollars now because of inflation. And I also like um, Wendy's a lot because they claim they eat stuff fresh, that they make stuff fresh, but that's debatable. And also I like Subway subs a lot because of the footlongs and, they, and they, a lot of their healthy stuff, supposedly. And I also like to get, like, Dunkin's iced coffee, and also, once in a while, I might get the turkey sausage, egg and cheese on an English muffin, breakfast sandwiches. And, you know, I, I haven't had a donut at Dunkin's since the pandemic. Because, you know, I, um, I used to like jelly donuts there, but it seems like, the donuts and quality has hasn't has been going down a lot lately, and you know fast food restaurants they make billions and billions of dollars. A lot of them are very iconic, and you don't see too many McDonald's go out of business or. Dunkin' Donuts or Dunkin's go out of business or Wendy's go out of business at all. But some other ones like Subway and Burger King, a lot of them have been closing down over the past several years. Especially Subway because of you know bad publicity and also oversaturated the market. You really don't need Subway's at every corner of major cities. Dunkin's, it's, that's fine because that's, a lot of people drink coffee, or iced coffee, and if one's crowded, one's not open, you go to the one just down the corner or or the street. And, and also, recently a lot of fast food places uh, like cutting back on staff because of automation and plus many people don't really want to work at fast food restaurants anymore because of low pay. But many states are now making minimum for fast food wor- workers $20 an hour. That's a lot of too much so that you're going to get the automation. And um, fast food, in my humble opinion, it's fine. But don't eat it every single day or modify it or try to go healthier with fast food alternatives. But is is it really healthy? We'll wait and see. And thank you for all your support. Um, Leave a comment in in, in the section. Like this video, share it, and I'll talk to you again soon.